Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Hello my fellow intuitive minds and welcome to the video. Today we'll be looking at how to do the upper 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 times table only using your fingers. So in other words, you'll be able to do all of these calculations using your fingers alone. In saying that, you must know your first 5 times tables. You must know the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 times tables as this method will not work for them. This only works for the upper 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 times tables. So if you wanted to do 5 times 6 or 4 times 7 or 3 times 9, this won't work for that. This only works for everything above 6 times 6. So we're starting at 6 times 6 and we're going all the way up to 10 times 10. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, what you must do is have your hands with your palms facing towards you and your fingers spread out. Then what you do is you assign numbers to each of your fingers, starting from six with the pinky finger ending at 10 when you reach the thumb. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Once we've assigned the numbers to the fingers, what we can do, we can start doing the calculations then. So say we wanted to do six times seven. So we choose any hand for the six, it doesn't matter which one. So I'll just choose the left hand. So get the sixth finger, which is the pinky one, and then you get the seventh finger on the other hand, and then you join them. Once you join them, the fingers that are joined and any fingers below all become multiples of 10. So we see that there are two fingers joined, so that becomes 10, 20, and there's one finger below, that's an extra 10, so that's 30 altogether. So we have 30 from the join and below, and then above the join, we convert all these fingers into single units so there are four units on the left hand and three units on the right hand what you do with these units is you multiply them so we'd have four times three which is 12 then you get that 12 and you add it to the 30 we got from before and that makes 42 so six times seven equals 42 let's take another example let's say we wanted to work out what eight times eight was so we get the eighth finger which is the middle finger on both hands we join them so step one choose your fingers step two join Step 3, convert the joined fingers and everything below into multiples of 10. Convert the joined fingers and everything below into 10s. So we have two fingers joining, that's 10, 20, and we have a further four fingers hanging below. So that means 40. So altogether there's 60, including the join and below. Then above the join, we have two fingers on the left hand and two fingers on the right hand. So we have two times two, which is four. Adding the two results, 60 plus four equals 64. So eight times eight equals 64. Let's take a look at nine times seven. Let's do the other hand this time. So step one, choose your fingers. Let's get the nine from the right hand and the seven from the left hand. Step two, make the join of the appropriate fingers. So we have the nine finger and the seven finger. We join and then we count in tens from all the fingers, including the join and below. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So the 60, including the join and below. And then we count in units above the join. So we have three fingers on the left and one finger on the right. And we multiply those numbers. So we have three times one, which is three. Then we add the results. So 60 plus three is 63. So therefore nine times seven equals 63. Let's say we wanted to do nine times six. So we get the ninth finger and we join it with the sixth finger. So we have nine times six there. And then we count in tens from the join, including the fingers below. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have 50 in total there. And then we multiply all the single digits above the join. So we have one finger on the left hand and four fingers on the right. So one times four is four. So 50 plus four is 54. So nine times six is 54. Let's say we wanted to do nine times nine. So we get the ninth finger on each hand, we join and we count in tens from the join including the fingers below so we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and then we multiply the single units above the join so we have one on the left times one on the right one times one is one so 80 plus one equals 81 
Let's do another very popular calculation of 7 times 8 or 8 times 7. Again, the order doesn't matter. So 7 times 8, you get your 7th finger, then you find your 8th finger and then you join them. So counting all the fingers, including the join and below in 10s, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we keep that in mind. And then we multiply all the single unit fingers above the join. So we have 3 on the left and we multiply that. We times that by the 2 on the right. So 3 times 2 is 6 and we add the two results. So 50 plus 6 is 56. So therefore 7 times 8 is 56 and that's all there is to it have a go yourself and see if you can work out these calculations yourself let me know how well you did in the comments below okay so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful the more people engage the more people like the more they comment the more they share the more we can help each other and the more we can collectively become intuitive minds if you enjoyed the contents of this video then smash that like button do leave a comment on how you got on and if it helped you at all share with anyone who you think this may benefit as we want to create awareness and help raise awareness by helping others reach a better understanding of how to do this work and it would also help with the youtube algorithm and do subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and other motivational videos so together we can educate innovate and actuate and if you want to become a part of the intuitive minds collective you can check out the brand new intuitive mind store which is full of the latest limited edition designs for t-shirts and hoodies thanks for watching and i'll see you next time